Okay, hopefully you didn't find that too hard. Let's take the name in order. Deoxy here, deoxy, what do you think that means? Is probably missing an oxygen. So the deoxy part of the name for DNA describes this part of the chemistry. The next part, ribo, indicates that there's a ribose sugar as part of the deoxynucleotide. This is the sugar molecule called a ribose sugar, so that's what the ribo represents in the name. Nucleic was probably the toughest one if you couldn't figure it out. Actually represents the nitrogenous base here, or the nucleic acid. This means that it's found in the nucleus. And then the last bit, actually over here, the acid is an artifact from this, what we call a phosphate group right here, under certain conditions when DNA was first isolated, is it actually had acidic properties. And it's because of the nature of this group right here. So you can see that the name deoxyribonucleic acid, which is the long form for the, act, for the abbreviation DNA, actually is just describing the chemistry of missing an oxygen, being part of a ribose sugar, containing a nitrogenous base that can be found in the nucleus, and also containing a group that can be acidic under certain conditions.